Google Groups, for Google Apps Premier and Education Edition customers, now makes it easy for users to communicate and collaborate using groups. Each Google Group shares a common email address which is used to send email to the group and to find permissions to documents, sites, videos, or calendars. While IT administrators can still use the control panel to enable group creation, enable external access, and define group options, they no longer need to manage group creation or memberships for their users. When a new member joins a group, the individual automatically inherits the group's permissions, allowing them to freely access any group documents and immediately interact and collaborate with other group members. And since permissions are tied to the group rather than the individual, when a member leaves the group, their rights to any shared documents and group interaction are revoked. Setting up a Google group is easy. Let's walk through an example. Alice decides to create a new Google group for her events planning team. She decides to give the group public permissions. This allows anyone in the organization to join the group, post messages, view its members, and read its archives. Alice then invites her current event planning team members to the group. After creating the group, Alice has complete control over the group's access, appearance, and email delivery options. Later, Bob joins Alice's team. He uses the Google Group's web interface to quickly locate and join the group. As a new group member, Bob quickly gets up to speed on the group and its projects, views its members, reads through its historical message archives, and then emails an introduction to the group. Let's suppose Bob has a document that he wants to share with the team, but only wants members of the team to be able to edit the document. All Bob simply has to do is add the group's email address as a collaborator of the document and make sure the edit option is selected. Now, when team members are added or removed from the group, they automatically gain or lose editing access to the document. It's that easy. There's a lot more you can do with Google Groups. Check it out today and see how easy it is to enhance your team's collaboration and communication.